this time of the year is usually so busy for me because it's exam season and um, after exam comes the big marking and after the big marking comes the big collation of results so you can see now my gray hairs are like <laughs> full blown oh my goodness anyways um today i wanted to show you the sweet peas because i mean they are doing so well today i wanted to show them to you and then uh, maybe we can go around together and pick them and put them maybe bring them in they look so ooh, <laughs> buzzing friend they look so beautiful uh, i think it's a pretty the thing about gardening is amazing how um you just put something in a pot and after a couple of weeks you get this like plants just thriving up to the point where it begins to wow you you know some of them begin to make flowers that um, create um, beautiful surroundings, beautiful environment for you. Some of them even give you food to eat. So um, yeah, that's something interesting. I'm going to take you around and take peace with you. But the other day, these birds, are they going to live? Am I even going to talk? <laughs> are they even going to let me talk? coming into my video all right anyways i was thinking you know um i saw i was going through my phone and i saw an old picture of me standing you know the place where i normally stand when i'm shooting my video during the summer and it's got the blue skies and everything i stood right there in that location i'm going to show that picture to you and um, the before and the after picture and it was so interesting how much things have changed from three years ago when I, around the time I first moved to this house, of course, this garden was just blank canvas. It was covered in grass, like grass, bush. So thank you to my friend, this Margo. She was the one who came with her, you know, shovel and all the gardening tools. And both of us, we stayed in my backyard and we kept on digging and weeding and removing until we put the weed control down and put chippings on top of it. Um, I started to make the beds, you know, and then we put the gazebo in and the garden started to come to life gradually. So you would see that picture, a photo of me, so you know that life is what you put in is what you get. That's just how life works. I mean, I can't believe how, I mean, how different the garden is now. <laughs> supposed to how it was when I first moved in so yeah I think that's a lesson to take a life lesson to take that if you want something good you have to put in the work yeah I'm really loving those hanging baskets those two how do I have to move my hand now those two yeah I'm really enjoying them yeah so let's go and pick some um let's go and pick the sweet peas yeah so that one is such a beautiful color it's the berry keys uh to be able to pull that to to take a cutting from that one you should have just pushed it back i should have just pushed it back yeah but it's so tender at this stage you have to make sure that you do it right and look at the poppies as well that poppy in spite of the hostess suppressing it it managed to push its way up and i've got a couple of them over on this side is the red one and the other I, I didn't expect to have red in that mix but i can see red and that's the surprise of uh, planting a mystery seed mix look at that petunia basket i can't believe how glorious that's looking I, only a few weeks back they were just greens and now it's a burst of pink all over the basket i even cannot see the hangers so yes um you have to keep on picking them because it's more like the more you uh, pick them the more they come back uh, what do they say cut and come back again something like that yeah so i'm picking lots of them and when i finish picking them i will just take them and put them in a cup of water and then just uh, let them do their job yeah So these are the pink ones in the front garden um yeah i love that color so much i love pastel colors it's that soft baby pink hmm. and it's so fragrant when you're walking into my house as, as you pass through the front door the fragrance the smell just hits you So 
Oh, those are my sweet peas. You know when you cut them, you should just throw them into a jug of water or a can of water straight away. You throw them in so that um, they, don't, they, don't, they don't lose water and then dehydrate, yeah? So you throw them in. I've got this cup. Um, this was in my little girl's room. Little girl, my teenager's room. <laughs> yeah, so I like that color. I'm going to throw that away now. And then I'm going to just add the ones that I just freshly picked today to these ones from the other day. Okay, let's get cracking. I just want to like no I'm fine I'll just feed them through I'll just feed them in mm -hmm. hmm. it's beautiful during the summer um, when you can when the flowers bloom and you can bring a bit of the outside into your home you know you can create um, a beautiful ambience indoors that last bit of pink yeah and you can just oh I've got some down here as well Look at all those different colors coming in together. I think that red is, I'm losing the red. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Good. I can just trim the excess bits off. And I'm just going to fill that up with water. Halfway. Maybe I can use the gardener's twine to hold them together. Okay, right. We'll try that out. If it doesn't work, we'll leave them loose. go how is that <laughs> that's beautiful mm. pretty and fragrant <sighs> yeah so you can gift that to a friend you can put it in your living room you can put it in your bedroom you can you can go with one shade you can take all purples or take all pinks that's why i like to buy the mixed ones because you can you can do a lot with them and then you can collect the seeds at the end of the planting season sometimes they sell seed the next year you might see one or two of them popping through again so yeah that's the beauty of sweet peas thanks for watching i shall see you tomorrow bye on our community tab we do a feedback on all the lovely plants um both horticultural and vegetables that are in the backyards in the diaspora gardens uh so if you haven't yet subscribed that's enough reason to subscribe because if you're not subscribed you won't be getting um access to the community content um 
Also, we'd love to have a reaction from you. We'd love to hear from you. Engage in the community. Engage in the discussions. And when you finish, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's important because it lets us know um, whether you liked the video or whether you didn't like the video. And also, it's good for the algorithm. So be a part of our success. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.